Hi everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Edit Creations. Today has been a Monday. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, I am going to assemble a card on video today and that's everything. So it'll just be a quick video. I need a birthday card for my sister. I need one for my niece too, but I'm only going to assemble one tonight and it'll be my sister's. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to try and put out another video with my uh, niece's card because I do need to mail that off. Um, hopefully crossing my fingers, hopefully at about one o'clock tomorrow after my nutritional appointment. So that's my goal. Um, my husband does have meetings all morning, of course, so it might be a little hard to, to video um, tape anything, but he does need to take a lunch at some point, right? He didn't take one today, so it's been a very stressful day for him too. I'm, I'm just, it's interesting how my Monday went kind of crazy and his Monday went kind of crazy. Thank goodness Miranda, for the most part, was in a great mood, so it wasn't like life or death but at the same time but when it came time for dinner i went to texas roadhouse and got steak i just figured we needed a, a good meal tonight so let's get to making this card i hope you all are having a much better monday than i am here is what the card looks like closed and um this is <clears throat> sorry uh this is what is this called let me let me pull that up it is called a French door easel card. It's by Laurie Whitlock. And what you do, <clears throat> sorry, excuse my, I, I'm trying not to cough, but it sits like that. So let's see if I, I guess I can put it that way. And um, so it's really, it's really a cute design. This one right here is the happy Mother's Day card. And I thought it'd be cute for my sister. So basically it's got these little, flaps right here and then it's got them here so I hope she can figure out how to do this I might have to say hey go watch my video but there we go it sits like that let's see here like that so that you can enjoy it and maybe this will be on her desk or something I did choose to use a uh, lawn fawns paper let me grab it uh, this was out of the sample pack that they send me because they send me a a pack with one of each paper when I um, do my wholesale order and um, for me to use, but I did order three packs of this because I really like this. I love this side. This side's cute too. Um, this side was just the best side for this, but when I put it down here at the bottom, it was way too much. So then I just put, um, that's raspberry dark side there. So the colors I did use are raspberry, raspberry, um, flamingo. Let's see, so dark side raspberry, dark side flamingo. This is, I believe, light side. Yeah, it's light side lagoon. And then I put dark side glacier underneath that. White daisy here. And then um, there's a circle of white daisy under there. I didn't cut the, the centers, <laughs> my glue. I Instead, I decided to use these little guys. I figured that that was a good way of using them. And I went with the, I guess the middle tone. Oh, looks like I did with the lighter tone. Okay. I did pop this center area. I didn't crimp it because it's going to just go in an envelope. So I thought, you know, it's just going to flatten anyway. So let's get to making one of these. I can show you that. There's not a video on Lori Whitlock's site when you go to the bundle. There might be one individually. I'm not sure. I only looked at the bundle because that's what I bought because it has, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four Easter cards, a St. Patrick's Day one that's, I'm sorry, that the little guy on it is kind of creepy. Um, a happy spring, a happy Mother's Day, and two happy birthdays. And so it's a really cool set. And I thought, you know, for a quick, simple card, this would be great. So that's what I did. Okay, let me pull this out and you can see the individual pieces. I did add adhesive already to these little guys. This is the card base. So of course it cuts like this. I cannot share this file with you because it is one you would have to buy yourself. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, but you just fold, fold it in, you know, just kind of crease it. Um, it cut beautifully. And I don't know if it's because it was on the maker. I, I don't know. 
So this piece right here is just a simple inside piece that you now have to write stuff on, which I don't know about you, but that's one of the hardest things I find in making a card is finding what to write. So I will probably be looking for a nice little stamp to put in here to take up at least some of the space. Okay, so this just kind of folds like that. It's such a, you know, well-balanced card. And where did I set... I'm not seeing it now. Oh, goodness gracious. I have this piece, but this isn't the one I don't think for the center. So I need to cut that down and I don't remember exactly what it was. Oh, here it is. It was underneath my trimmer. I'm like, I know I have it. I know I have it. <laughs> don't, don't hide from me. I didn't put adhesive on that. And of course, in my quick on-camera style, I am going to add, a, well, as much as I possibly can to keep it in place. And so let's put that on there. And then we'll put those these little bits over here and kind of set that aside while we build the flowers. And the flowers, I did line these up beforehand because for some reason I always pick the furthest and have to try it four times crazy and by the furthest I mean like I have to go here's I picked this one right here and see that matches but I always have to go like that and it's always the fourth one that works crazy I know okay so this didn't look good with just the plane and it didn't look good with just the stripes so I think it looks much better with both of them I did um cut the the melon mambo down by an eighth of an inch, Melon Mambo. Oh my gosh, the raspberry. Sorry, stamp. Oh nope. I'm using the good the good adhesive, so this should work. They are so small though, so it's kind of hard to. It's not perfect, but you know what? What is in this world? So, yeah, today was an interesting day. I have a client who has, um some issues she's getting older and she has some dementia and she's got an amazing attitude about it which I think is very remarkable um and she hasn't filed her taxes in quite a while so I was working on a lot of returns today to try and get her caught up it just took a lot of my day which you know hey it's it's my job and I love my job but sometimes doing that many returns in one day can be extra, extra exhausting. Um, okay, so posted for you is what I use this happy birthday. I have not written anything. So at this point, nothing was going to be below. Um, I will try to write up a little bit of stuff, like just the paper I use, the file I use, send a link to Lori Whitlock's, and then this stamp. I don't know if this is still a current stamp. I don't even know when I got this. I know it has a little um, postage stamp. I want to say it's a punch that goes with it. But this happy birthday was just perfect. I liked that a lot. So I did use that stamp set, and then I am using the Intense Black ink on this white daisy paper and actually you know what the white paper is not white daisy i cut everything with the hammer mill paper because i needed more strength and the the craft i'm using here is let me i'm just gonna close this up and i'll clean that up after words let me close that up because i don't want it on my elbow the craft paper is right here it is Cardstock Warehouse Speckle Tone Collection Premium Cardstock Craft, and it is 100 pound. Um, so I like to use this when I'm using um, craft for a card, and I'm getting pretty low, so I'm going to have to order some more. It's a really good paper. It is on Amazon. I will try to put a link below. I had affiliate links for a while, but I I don't know how to make them now. They kind of changed that quick, quick link. So this will not be an affiliate link. It'll just be, you know, a link. Okay, so there's the base of it. I'm going to set that aside over here and let's work on this flower. Okay, so I don't want to move this 
Oh no, did I move it? No. Okay, good. Whew. I don't want to move that because I don't want to have to find its its purpose again or its its way uh, that it's supposed to go. So, so the dark side is on the bottom. It is the light side of um, lagoon, and then that is the dark side of glacier. Okay. And that goes, let me look at that card. It does go under, uh, it doesn't go under the other flower, but this is okay. We're just going to put this little guy here. Let's see, does that line up? That lines up pretty good. Okay, then we've got this little guy. And I'm just going to add some adhesive, and then I'm going to try to figure out where it goes. Because that is... One of the hard parts when you're cutting multiple cards is finding oh, lots of glue goobers down there. Sorry. Okay, it's finding which way that the flower actually goes on the on the paper, especially when you just take everything off. Now, if you were to build this, and it doesn't cut in the order you should build it for um, for a uh, Cricut. So you would just have to start lining up your papers in certain ways and you could cut out of order. But I don't know about you, my Cricut program right now is still doing that thing where I can see what's on the screen. Um, that doesn't make sense. And I'm sorry, I'm not saying it, artic I'm not articulating enough. Um, so when you've got it at the, the cut area, it'll show what's, on the screen, but I can't scroll down any further to see the other cuts. I don't know if that is something that is happening to everyone. Um, it is definitely happening to me. I've been doing a few cuts where I, like this one was with all the cards I cut and I can, yeah, I can move that over and show you how many cards I cut tonight. Um, I had like 25 things I was cutting, but only like six would show up. It was just really weird. And that keeps happening to me when I'm trying to do stuff. Oh, I guess I kind of can't. So I've got this, um, it's a happy birthday to you. And the happy birthday will go on the cover. This one's for my niece. And I'm using, I've got to cut a few more papers for it too. But this is one of the new papers out of the, what's it called? I'm kind of thinking about putting this as the background. Um, or this one, but I think I need to do, stick kind of with this one. And this is called Fresh Paint. This is a new paper that's coming out relatively soon, or I guess in a month. <laughs> and um, so I cut those and then I cut, let's see here, this one, which is kind of a crate. And these are some leaves. And the crate one, this is the center of it right here. Let's see if I can get it to actually fold. So it's got kind of like a little handle. And then this is the second tab. I don't, I'm going to have to look at how this goes together because it's, however this cut file is, that's not, I don't like that. Maybe I'm folding it backwards. I don't know. I honestly have no clue. No, it does it on the other side too. So I'll have to figure that one out, but there's a lot of flowers on that one. And then like I said, for Emily's, let me grab some of these ABCs. <laughs> these are all of the letters. And so you've got um, this one cut right here, and it's got the um, the flame. So I did the flame in that yellow paper. Let me see if I can. Oh, nope. Um, so it looked kind of flamey. And then you just put colors over it. But the flame is looks kind of like this. Let's see here. The speckle. There you can see it. And I thought that was pretty cool. It's got balloons on it and a cake. And I did cut two. So we'll assemble that tomorrow. And then I've got a flower one. So hopefully we can get all of those assembled tomorrow during Jason's lunch. That would be awesome. And then I can mail those off and not be the sucky aunt that I am right now by being late. Because one of the birthdays is on the 10th. And we are six days away from it. But that one, I think I've already got that card made. I, I hope I do. Oh, goodness, I hope I do. 
the joys of tax season. Okay. So there is that card. Isn't that a cute card? I really recommend these. Um, one, the file cuts real quick and easy when you're only cutting one. <laughs> when you're cutting three or four different cards. Let's see, because I've got the crate. I've got this one. So three different cards is what I cut tonight. Um, it does take quite a bit, especially when the Cricut doesn't cooperate. Um, let me see here I think that that's everything you know what I kind of want to add some of those sequins I think that might be kind of cute let's see here just add a few little sequins around here let's put two on this side and let's put one down here oops do we have the adhesive for it nope I think these are my Stampin' Up! sequins, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I have a hard time remembering right now where I got stuff. After tax season, I'll remember things. <laughs> I'm just really glad I got that huge amount of returns done. It's always nice when you get a huge pile of work off your desk. Okay. Yeah, I like that with those sequins. I think that looks cool. And I'm really glad, I was gonna just punch out paper for the centers, but I'm glad that I saw those yellow dots on my desk. So yeah, this one has a little bit of goobies down at the bottom. Um, so I'll probably send this one to my sister. I really, really like this posted for you, happy birthday. I'm gonna have to use this a few more times to this love. Oh, I remember I did a card with those. So this, this is probably a retired set from a couple years ago. Because I did um, stamps of these things on that card a long, long time ago. Like, you know, like two years. Okay. Sorry. Enough of my, you know, ranting. I guess, that's, you know, that's what life's all about right now. <laughs> you have a good, good night. And hopefully your Monday was better, way better than mine. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come play today. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you would love to see more of my videos. Leave a comment. I always appreciate those, and I try to get back as soon as possible on those. And have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.